We are very close to making the soap now. I just brought in four, ten, four of these uh, coffee cans full of nice, white, clean bear grease, bear oil, whatever you call it, bear lard, tallow. Um, still has a little bit of water in it, not very much, very, very little water in it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put each coffee can in a pot on the stove on a very low heat. When you see some bubbles coming off of it and you see a little bit of popping from the water that's in the oil, as soon as that stops, I'm going to take it off and that'll be it. It'll be clean. It'll be ready to make the soap with. I might filter it one more time just to make sure. I might just run it through a paper towel filter one time all of it into the pot but uh, we're getting ready to make the soap here very soon this is nice clean bare tallow just got to get a little bit of water out then make our measurements get our weights on how much oil it is run it through the lie calculator online the soap calc and then we'll be ready to go I've got it on the stove now on the lowest setting on a single burner and you can see it's got a little bit of bubbles coming up off of it that's that's the water that's left in there you can actually look down in there and see the little bit of water and little spots around there on the bottom but uh, when that stuff when that stuff starts stops bubbling off it'll be nothing but grease in there We're getting ready to make the soap now. I got my molds already put together. Just some old boxes. Try and get your molds to the right size of the soap. It's going to be a square piece of soap, so I cut. Them. I got them. I got some good. I saved my old uh, boxes I got in the mail. Some of these priority mail boxes. So I'm using them as molds. Just regular cheap trash bags put in there to line them. And I've got the lye. I know it says crystal drain opener, but this is 100% lye. 100% sodium hydroxide. Doesn't matter what kind of container it comes in, as long as it says 100% sodium hydroxide, that's what you can use. I've been using this for years. Whenever I make soap, this is the one I get. It's hard to find this stuff. Sometimes you got to go online and get it, but uh, sometimes you can find it at uh, Lowe's, Home Depot. Just make sure it's 100% lye, 100% sodium hydroxide. If you live in certain places of the country, you've got to order this stuff online. There's no way to get it in local hardware stores anymore. It used to be available in grocery stores, hardware stores, but with the crystal meth problem people using it to make drugs it's getting harder and harder to find this stuff in regular stores but we're just using it to make soap okay I've already put the melted tallow in the pot the big pot here that we're going to use to uh, mix up the soap in I've got 15.688 pounds of bear fat in there. 251 ounces. Says I'm going to need 5.96 pounds of water. And we're going to need 2.06 pounds of lye. I'm gonna go ahead and measure those things out and I'll probably I'm gonna mix the lye up outside because I don't want to do that in the house let it settle and then uh, I'll bring that back in but uh, we're almost ready to make the soap I've got the oil in the oven here I'm keeping it around 120 degrees it needs to be by the time I take it out set it on the floor we start working with it it'll be down to around 100 degrees 
and uh, it'll turn into soap. We will get to that in just a few seconds. All right, here's the scale. Let's go ahead and get our water ready with this. Our pan's going to weigh one point, well, one pound four ounces. One pound four point one ounces. I'm going to just say one point four ounces. One pound four ounces. Got the water weighed out, seven point, seven pounds, three ounces. That's including the water, the weight of the pot, and everything. So. All I gotta do now is measure out my lye, mix it in with the water, and uh, let it sit to settle down, and we'll be ready to get mixing. Okay, I've got the lye measured out in there. I've got a disposable plastic container to use for that. Two pounds, 3.3 .3 ounces is what it comes to with the lye and the plastic container. I only really needed two pounds, one point something pounds, but uh, this is it. I'm going to take the lye and the water outside and mix it up. Uh, I forgot to mention, when you do this, I always use a stainless steel pot. Because I've tried to use, I had a bad experience using a Pyrex container one time. It cracked on the bottom. I'm just lucky I was outside when it happened, but uh, ever since then I've never used another glass container to uh, mix the lye in. I always use a stainless steel pot. Stainless steel, not aluminum. Stainless steel. Just make sure everything you use in this thing here, make sure it's stainless steel. Don't ever get any aluminum in contact with any type of lye because it does not mix well. All right, we got the pot of oil right here. I'm going to mix in the lye and the water, and we're going to start making some soap right here. And it has already started turning into soap. I like to use this thing to mix it up. Works real good. It's a paint mixer. you can see now the saponification process has started it's going to be a while I'll probably have to mix this for about 15 20 minutes with this thing but I like it you can go forward and reverse so it works both ways Mix is great. I'll go ahead and turn this off and then I'll, uh, when it starts to trace and get thick, I'll go ahead and turn it back on. You can see it's starting to thicken up now.
It's about the consistency of uh, that vanilla pudding that you cook before it starts to uh, firm up. And this started off around, I think it was around 100 degrees after you mix the lye and the water and the oil in there. Temperature goes up for a little bit for a while. Then it starts coming back down. When this starts getting down around 80, it'll really start to set up. And that's when I'll need to put it into my molds. But uh, still probably got another 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> That's actually soap right now. It's just going to take a few days to firm up. I'll start putting it in the molds here in a little bit. It's thick enough now. We can put it in the molds. I just use this dipper. Kind of like a thin pudding. I'll go ahead and get it all in the molds. And then we'll take a picture of the molds after we're done with this. Because this is going to take a while. This is what I got out of that batch. One, two, three, four loaves and just a little bit of leftover in this little one here. Probably about that thick. But uh, we'll let it sit overnight. And by tomorrow we can slice this up. Okay, let's check out the soap this morning. It's been It's been about 24 hours. I covered it up with a blanket last night to make sure that it would hold the heat in. It should be in the gel process right now, the gel phase, and we'll take a look at it. See what we got here. Okay, uh, I guess you can look at it. I guess you can see in the center there, there's a, uh, where it was white last night, you can see a dark circle. That's part of the gel process. That means it's, it's turning into soap. That's what it's doing right now. Some people say you shouldn't use the gel process. You should try and phase it out of that. I think it works better if you use if you let it gel and then come back. But uh, if you look at it, it's still it's turning into soap now. It's warm. It'll get up to about maybe 160. Some people say 180 degrees. But uh, you want to keep it warm or let it retain the heat. It'll come down on its own when the gel process is done, but right now it's working. And it's doing what it's supposed to, so I'll cover it back up. And then uh, probably give it maybe another day or two. It'll all be back to soap, and then we'll cut it.
Okay, we got one of our loaves of soap here. Uh, I already cut up another one. I'm going to show you how this one's cutting. Came out real good. Uh, you can cut it up into as big a piece as you want. I kind of like to uh, cut mine like that. See, it cuts real smooth. See on the inside, it's still turning into soap. It's still got a little bit of the gel phase in there, but that's okay. As long as it's working. Now this is usually the size I cut. Because I don't care if it looks pretty or anything. I use it myself. And uh, to me that's a good size. About the size of a 2x4. If you was to slice up a 2x4, this is about the size of a bar of soap for me. Now if you wanted to, you could take this thing and make some little bars out of it. But uh, it's cutting very nice. Just cut it with a regular kitchen knife. It's, it's fairly soft. And we cut it about right here. And it's still going to have to uh, cure for about... I would say five weeks. But you can see how easy it's cutting and everything. Came out real good. We'll let it dry for a couple of weeks and then uh, we'll put some under a sink with some water and see what see how it lathers up. See what kind of soap we can make out of this stuff. But uh, came out real good.